What's good, y'all? It's your boy Little Roy, aka Little Roy T, and we back with another video. Finally, you guys probably wondered what happened to me copping the Jordan 11. DMP, gratitude, I forgot what they called them. But we finally got the shoe right here. You must be asking, why am I taking too long to review it? Delivery post office was to like two days delayed from when I originally was supposed to get the shoe. Um, what else? Uh, yeah, I was waiting for delivery. And hold on, someone's calling. Denied. People always want to call when I'm doing shit. Um, yeah, my energy's a little down right now, but I'm finally happy to get the shoe. Also, I'll let you guys know why didn't I just go to the store and pick it up. I hit it online. But if you know you not what the fuck, bro? Stop calling me. Nigga don't fucking understand, like. Son, what is go with this guy, bro? Hold on. Nigga think it's dead funny. Anyways. With that being said, I got the shoe for a cheaper price. Like I always tell you guys, think smarter and not harder. Especially if you looked at my must cop or not video on the Dream 11 Gratitudes. You know, retail was high, so I'm going to let you guys know how I got it for cheaper and under retail. Um, let me just get this video done with, but not for the sake of trying to rush through it. It's just, obviously, you can clearly see the energy, people getting on my nerves. But I also want to make sure I film the video for you guys, so yes, I got a little energy to be a little positive. Um, if you're new here, subscribe to this channel, my music channel, and follow me on Instagram. And um, let's get right into the video. Like, comment, I respond and read all comments, so let's get it. So, so off rip Jordan 11 uh, Gratitude What do they really call it It's white, metallic, gold, black That's the official like, coloring they give on the box When it comes to Jordan 11's I wear nine and a half. So you can see right there nine and a half. Um, and yeah So they come with this Flip open box I realize it has the gold Circle right there um, nothing, it doesn't say nothing on the box, on especially all that Nike stuff. Um, yeah, they went pretty lazy on these 11s, not gonna lie. Then you got the 2 3 in the front of the box, whatever. Um, yeah, that's it. Let's just open it and let's look at it. It got what? Does that say Jordan or something? I don't really know what this says. I don't know, it's like a logo and all this. Gratitude, I don't know. But you guys can tell me in the comments, what does this say? I have no clue what this says. Jordan, I don't know. That's not Jordan, I don't know. Either or, that's it. It says like a different language on all this paper that says gra thank you, gratitude, gracia. Thank you in different languages, I guess. Gracias, gracias means thank you in Spanish, obviously. And then thank you in English. So I guess that's just Jordan saying thank you. Even though, yeah, if you know, you know about Jordan. But anyways, let's get right to the shoe. Voila. That's a good, clean shoe. Um, I will show you guys in this clip. Just give me a second. Um, one thing, the reason why I hate it. Sorry. The reason I was back and forth with this shoe. I do have some things that I don't like that... With the DMPs, it would have came with a dog tag. They did not give us a dog tag with these, which is pretty trash, and that's whack. Like, if you're going to make a reimagined, different version, give us the original, at least something we want. We could have got the dog tags two years ago, three years ago. They gave us the DMP 6s. They came with a dog tag gold. If you look at the original, they come with a gold dog tag as well, but they let us down with this. So, there's nothing different in the shoe. So, I'm going to just close this up. And we'll just go over the one shoe by itself. Um, I'm gonna add the clip in me recording because I cleaned up a little bit in the corner. If you guys remember and know, oh geez, I got a hole as well from all my sneakers and the cases, like other YouTubers do. Um, I'm gonna show you the collection of all my Jordan 11s. And I still regret not being on it in 2009-ish, I think. I didn't get the Space Jams 11s, right? The good ones, not the one with the 45 on the back. But after those Space Jams came out every year after I got all the 11s, the cool grays, 
the, um, the at least the ones I wanted, the Cool Grades, um, Concords, uh, what else, 11s, whole bunch of 11s. So I was looking at the collection the other day and I was cleaning up a little bit and I saw like, damn, if I don't get the gratitudes, I'm going to regret it. So I probably will do a comparison video because I was going to do a comparison video after that time passed. What do you guys prefer? The Pat and Brett ones or the Lost and Found. So I might do a video between these and the Concords just because now that I finally got the DMP6s, gratitude, whatever, I want to compare what's really the difference between these and you know, let's just go over the Concord. Dogs, the Concord is a little older. Um, so I was like, nah, I need to get these for the collection, even if I barely wear it. Um, also, I could compare. I could do so many videos with this sneaker alone. I could also do a comparison with the um, Jubilees, because the Jubilees is, you know, black and white with black on top, white on the bottom. So we'll see how much videos I actually do. I know if you guys see this on my channel a lot, don't get tired of it. Just watch the videos. Informational. So everyone just also get a comparison and look at everything. So I did state... That's the one negative thing that I have about the shoes that they didn't come with the gold gold, ta gold tags. Um, and yeah, the positive, I do like the little leather instead of the suede they usually have. The new bug, they still keep the side regular 11s. The only thing they really change is just this side and this side and then the tongue is like leather. And to me, you throw on some nice jeans, you got yourself a good Concord, a good DMP6 now. This is gold, so obviously that's the difference between the Concord and these. Um, this is a legendary sneaker. Like I said, I got it from, well, I didn't say it, but I got it for under retail. This type of shoe, you want it, try to get it for under retail. I know a lot of people, probably 90% of people bought it for retail plus tax. That's insane. I am not paying retail plus tax on a shoe like this that costs 230 210 I think it was 210 right? Or 230 retail plus tax would have been like 250 250 I paid 205 You might ask how I got it for 205 Well, because they're relatively bricks online, I was able to get it through a cashback server. You know, they have a whole bunch of apps that you can do cashback when you purchase stuff. So I used one of the cashback servers. I think it was like 10% or something that day, 12%. And I also had, of course, I always say it when I get personal, which I get from under retail, is the $20 coupon from JD and Finish Line. That's the most best way to get sneakers for under retail, plus tax, whatever you want to do. Try to use Finish Line JD. That's the biggest cheat code I can ever give you for now. That's what I do. So instead of this being $250, close to $250, you got $20 off. So it ends up being like $230. So I end up getting no. It ended up being a 228 to be exact. I don't know the math. Like I said, it comes out to be around 247-ish, close to 250, whatever, estimated 250. I did the cash back. It ended up being like, um, no, I ended up doing the $20 coupon. It ended up being like 228 228 And then with 228 227 I got the percent for cash back and ended up, if you do the math from that, whatever the percent was, I ended up paying 205 so 205 for a Jordan 11 I will take that that's under retail basically um, so I'm fine with that so I get some money back and I get a shoe for you know I didn't have to spend too much crazy so if you out there and you paid resale Lord be with you and if you paid for personal even with tax and all that extra shit if you had to pay because you want the shoe so bad you didn't want to depend on certain things i get it some people are impatient some people don't trust to get their shoe even if it's a break sometimes people live in a city that no shoe breaks you just want to pay it some places you probably want to raffle and you got to pay tax and shipping that's bizarre um but yeah just do your research guys out there like i said this video's getting a little too long plus i still gotta add the clip like i said i'm gonna show you all the 11s including these that's why i had to add to the collection so let me know if did you guys cop these or did you pass and um yeah, let me know what you think about the Gratitude, aka the DMP 11s. And do you also wish they gave the gold, gold tag, dog tag like I did? But yeah, let me know what you guys think about these. Your boy Little Roy's out. Subscribe to the channel, subscribe to my music channel, follow me on Instagram, and your boy Little Roy's out of here. See y'all in the next one. Peace. <coughs> Just in case I didn't catch my face and I didn't want to look stupid, so let's do it again.